Carlos, I'm the Spanish uh, former rally boy and today I'm extremely happy because I'm going to be showing you how to cook an outstanding dish called gallos. Whether it's liver, kidneys, pig trotters, langs, intestines, you name it. But I don't want you to be put off by this because to me they are a real delicacy and I love them all and that's why I'm putting so much enthusiasm into trying for you to cook this dish. And I know it's a bit of a cultural crush. There is countries that they just simply don't cook with these cats. But for me in Madrid, you know, I've grew up with it and we've developed such a technique on cooking it that that's why I go as far as saying that they are a real delicacy if cooked right, which is what I'm going to be doing with this beef tripe stew. So let me run you through the ingredients. For this recipe we're going to need the cow's trotters, some smoked Spanish panceta, smoked morcilla, uh, it's a black pudding, smoked chorizo, a bone of ham, the beef tripe, some spices like the red chili, cumin, paprika, cloves, black peppercorns and bay leaves, olive oil, chickpeas, tomatoes, a Spanish onion, garlic and fresh thyme. But before I start, I know there is some of these ingredients that it may not be so easy to find. So I just wanted to explain them and maybe find a solution to them. So in case of the cow strotter, uh, you should go to an ethnic shop, whether it's a Middle Eastern butcher or an African butcher, they always have it, the same as the beef tribe. Then in case of the Spanish meats, the panceta, the chorizo and the smoked chorizo, maybe you can use another smoke style type of meat if you don't have it, such as kind of a good bacon or something like that. The serrano ham bone, I just wanted to explain what it is as well. You know, normally in Spain, you've probably seen it in some of my videos, we hang the legs of ham that we thinly slice and carve, and at home it's traditional to have it, particularly during the Christmas, which is the case of what's left on one of these. And uh, what we do normally is we go to the butcher and we ask them to cut it into this for us, and that's what you will have. So if you cannot find it, I recommend you to use just a piece of serrano ham, that that should be a lot easier. And I think that's about it. This beef tripe stew is extremely tasty and flavoursome, as well as popular and very traditional all across Spain. But where I come from, Madrid, it's particularly famous and we eat it all the time. The reason is, even though we've cooked beef tripe and off cats and offal, for centuries in Spain. The, the reality is that Madrid was quite isolated during the civil war, so you know they would never say no to any piece of meat that it arrived. So it grew into very much the traditional regional cuisine of Madrid. Plenty of offcats, whether it was kidneys, liver, uh, you know, you name it, all the inner bits. I will start by saying that most of the beef tripe that you find today will have been clean, blanch and vacuum packed, just like the one I'm using today. But if you do buy it fresh, discard any ugly bits attached to the tripe bag, scrub them with coarse easel between your hands and then boil in a large pot with a glass of cheap white vinegar for 10 minutes. And then just discard that water, then chop it into pieces like the ones I have. And we're going to sort of do exactly the same process again, just by bringing it to the boil, the cow's trotters, the beef tripe and the ham goat bone, so that it washes it all out as it has quite a lot of skin uh, on the beef trotters, as well as the aged skin of the ham bone that has a bit of a rancid taste and is going to help clean it. Now we're gonna place the tripe pieces with the trotters, the ham bone, again back into the pot with cold water, the chickpeas and a bay leaf. Cover with the lid and we're gonna bring it to the boil. As it's a very large pot, it should take about 20 minutes to come to the boil, but as soon as it does, you should start skimming the top of the broth with the help of a ladle and remove those impurities. And now we're going to start creating a bit of a lovely sofrito. So first we're going to peel some garlic cloves, peel and finely chop a Spanish onion, 
pick some thyme leaves and grate your tomato. And in a large frying pan, pour a generous amount of extra virgin olive oil and we're going to gently fry the garlic cloves for about a minute. Then add the chopped onion and cook for another 15 minutes or until translucent, but we don't want it to take too much color or brown. Then add the dried chilies, peppercorns, cloves, ground cumin, paprika, fresh thyme leaves and stir it through and fry those spices before adding the chopped tomato. Reduce it down for about five minutes and pour it all into the pot. Together with your smoked morcilla, smoked black pudding and a smoked chorizo and we're going to let it simmer for about two and a half to three and a half hours or until our chickpeas are ready and the stew has reduced right down. Now we're going to bring all of these meats out carefully which we're going to chop into bite-sized pieces. And now with all the trotters, black pudding, serrano ham and chorizo chopped, which is all very gelatinous and sticky, it's what's going to finish off making this stew really mellow and unctuous. So I'm just gonna put it back and if it needs a little bit more water, I will add it and simmer it for the last 30 minutes. Well, I can clearly see it needs a little bit more water and as well, it's a good time to have a taste and see if the seasoning is right. Again, because we've cut all of the meats, it will release a lot of fat, so skim it out if you can. Dear friends, these callos are ready. Let me put it into this beautiful terracotta that you will be able to see them better. Take a look how rich, how thick the sauce has become. Beautifully cooked chicks, chickpeas and all the meats in there. In the same way as you drink responsibly, you should, this should be eaten responsibly. And traditionally, it's served as a tapa or as well as a starter in a soup bowl in the restaurant. I've done a bit of exercise, so I've earned it. And definitely this dish, it's an absolute bomb. So you should earn it before you eat it. Do some exercise, work really hard. Otherwise, poof, those calories will go straight into your belly. But I'm gonna go for the kill. Anyway, thanks very much everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe to the channel and all the best. If you enjoy the video, please like it, share it and subscribe. The flavor of home.